like it. Um, uh, good afternoon. This is a ripe rice for the Reconcha Fanta newspaper here in San Jose downtown. And uh, uh, we are here in the first street in the Santa Clara street, you know. Uh, it's San Jose downtown. It's a few more blocks. It's a Today I'm going to talk about uh, the, about the, uh, the serious topic about to, um, about to from President Joe Biden. He is uh, very serious. I mean, he's going to focus, you know, about the raising the the raising the tax bracket in the United States. As you know, originally um, the former President Donald Trump in, in 2017 he. Um, uh, he raised, oh, I'm sorry, uh, he made, you know, an, a, a tax reform, yeah. Uh, the Republicans, they have the, the, the House and also the, the Senate um, majority, so they could have helped it. Or you know that the plan for the tax reform was uh, uh, to make a 20% discount, 25% original yeah, uh, tax, uh, the corporation tax bracket, uh, through uh, 15 percent, but after they went to uh, the House, uh, representative in that time was uh, um, uh, Paul Ryan, Speaker of the House. Yeah, he uh, raised it five percent from the 15 to 20, and the proposition initiative from the President um, uh, uh, Donald Trump. And when the when the uh, it land, uh, yeah, and arrived to the Senate. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, the Senate, um, uh, senior senator, and, uh, and the head of the Senate of the United States, he was a one more percent. He was making him plus 20 percent plus one percent. So, and made it, and made it 21 percent. We are enacted in 2017. Okay, since, since 2017, yeah, the corporations, the tax corporations, they have a 40 percent discount from uh, 25 was a really good discount. But one other thing is because there is, uh, after the, uh, the 2008 uh, great depression, uh, economic depression 2008, you know, it was a great compliment because now everyone from the bailout was, uh, has a tax relief as it was done. President Obama has, you know, a plan is too, but uh, he couldn't get it too because uh, uh, the lack of the majority in the in the U.S. Congress, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it went away. But right now, uh, uh, President Trump, he made the job alongside, you know, the Vice President um, uh, Mike Pence. Right now, the problem is uh, it coming up uh, because uh, making more strong the, the making uh, corporations, he made it um, to get involved with the trade war against China, yeah, which is still on. It hasn't changed. Get anything about it, but the thing, uh, the first thing um, in 2020, it came up the coronavirus, uh, worldwide coronavirus uh, uh, disease from China and all around the world. Now, the economic crisis uh, when you know when the, the 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 U.S. domestic economy. One more time, one more time, the United States was involved, but not for a regular. A regular economic crisis for inflation or for lack of organization or because of overproduction for any reason. It was for the, it's a worldwide uh, health emergency. Yeah. In that time, the uh, United States has to get through, yeah, for uh, the closing down. It's a worldwide closing down, yeah. So all the economies around the world, they were closed out. No airplanes, no trains, uh, every single public. Uh, uh, buildings that were uh, closed, businesses, the only one is uh, who, which has uh, a lot of more, uh, uh, for emergency, as a grocery store community. Yeah, it was, uh, actually, it was, uh, what we came for recession at the economic crisis. The United States went up until 40 million people, uh, you know, applying for uh, uh, unemployment uh, benefits insurance. After that, yeah, after one year, one year later, in March, in November, or yeah, third, yeah, um, 
Joe Biden, Democrat, and he became president of the United States. Yeah. So, so 11 months from uh, from last year, Pfizer, you know, um, uh, they made their effort, plus uh, um, the um, financiation from the, uh, the federal government in order to create a vaccine against the uh, against the coronavirus or COVID-19. The problem that right now is the uh, United States has been spending trillions, trillions and trillions of dollars in order to uh, release, you know, all the uh, economic crisis hierarchy in automatic economies. It's a worldwide production. It was not the same because there was a lot of contamination. The spread, they tried to stop the spread in every single state. California was hit really bad too. But the, the thing is, um, uh, the plan of the rescue for American economy, it, it, it have a cost. Yeah, we're talking about with a new president, 1.9 percent, 1.9 trillion dollars for the American rescue. Yeah, in order uh, to keep going with the general vaccination, with the Pfizer, um, uh, Moderna, and also uh, Johnson and Johnson right now. Yeah, is uh, they're putting uh, President Joe Biden for 160 million dollars in the beginning of his administration for um, yeah for distribution manufacturing manufacturing distribution and the creation of uh, COVID-19 new sites in order to you know uh, enforce you know the general immunization in the United States the campaign it was uh, uh, in full yeah right now until today since the beginning of December the first week of December is 167 million Americans has been giving a dose, just one dose, yeah, because uh, Pfizer Moran is a uh, set of two doses, yeah, and Johnson Johnson is one set, so one, one dose. But 61, more than 61 million uh, Americans are fully vaccinated, yeah. California is also more than 20 million, uh, 20 million point uh, 300,000, uh, California has been already vaccinated. Yeah. We're talking about more than 7 million people, you know, already full vaccine in California, the state of California. So we're going to have to make it up, really the effort, and make it a hit for the United States, yeah, as a California has been all these years. Now, the President Joe Biden is, is going to raise, it's a link. He has a, the first one, the one point. $9 trillion for the American rescue, but also the second one, the $2 for uh, for um, the infrastructure campaign in order to restablish the economy, uh, the creation of jobs, and also the infrastructure of buildings and new schools and everything, you know, the creation of jobs was very important in order to keep, uh, um, keep going forward, you know, in order to release you know, at the crisis. The crisis is coming back because of the, the economic, the economic um, rebound factor is already in. See, you see San Jose in California here in the Bay Area, uh, they are coming back with a lot of strength. But it's, it takes time too because from the, from the, uh, yeah, from the bottom, we are rebounding again in order to, uh, to create, you know, more jobs and coming back for the new businesses. It's a damage, that's true. But the thing, uh, the thing is that President uh, Joe Biden has uh, mentioned it very clear, you know, raising the 7% more from 21% to 8% to 28%, the corporation tax bracket is gonna make up $740 billion in the next uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 years or decades. Over, yeah, the infrastructure the plan, yeah, for the uh, American economy, domestic economy reactivation, the creation of jobs, yeah, all other houses, yeah. And also, you know, the transportation bill, you know, the transportation bill is very important. It's important, like, uh, $621 billion, yeah. And also, um, uh, Affordable housing for the 650 million all around the United States. 220 million is uh, to build uh, 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 to build more than two million houses around the United States. So 
the Christian New Year. But also, you know, it's it, it a fixing uh, bridges, uh, roads, freeways, everything what you need for. Yeah, it's, uh, it will create a lot of jobs. You know, the more than two million people will be out there. Two, three, four, five million working on it. Uh, as we know, you know, if this is the linking here. If it, uh, President Joe Biden uh, needs to know the resources in order uh, to cover, you know, the deficit that we already have from the beginning of from the pandemic. Coronavirus it costs a trillion of dollars in the United States. Yeah, yeah, we need uh, uh, still for the unemployment uh, people. Yeah, it still it went down from the. Uh, from January 62 to 6.3%, 6.2, and right now 6.0% in March. Yeah. California is the same thing. California was in January 9%. In February, release our uh, last number was is 8.5%. Um, uh, for March, it should be for 8% or less. California is coming back. Yeah, because our indoors. Yeah, all the, all the businesses are coming. But then also the, 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 the strength of the, the coming back because it's the, the, the U.S. general immunization campaign is going with a lot of strength. President uh, um, Joe Biden put $160 billion in order to push forward the uh, ambassador all Americans here in our states, in all the states, all 50 states. So, but also, uh, uh, he's going to make the announcement for April 19. He's going to uh, um, try, you know, to vaccinate also, making more faster, you know, the adult people, yeah, to be vaccinated. In the beginning, you know, President uh, Joe Biden wanted you know, to, by ending May, every single adult to be vaccinated in the United States. But also, you know, Pfizer came up with a new. Uh, 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 with a new vaccine for the teenagers. Uh, they can be vaccinated from 12 years old to 15 years old. Johnson & Johnson is working in the same way. Yeah, so our teenagers from 12 years old through 17 years old. So it's, it's coming along. Yeah, but it's gonna be a lot, a, a lot of work. But also, uh, between that is uh, one another item is that capital gains is gonna be raised from 27% uh, tax bracket to 29.3 percent. So it, it's trying to make a uh, 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 to collect more resources. And also for the people who has been uh, uh, more than 400 million dollars, yeah, uh, uh, in a special tax, yeah, for the for the wellness. Uh, the wealthy people is going to be taxed for sure. But uh, one other thing, the president uh, um, so far they say now is uh, if we uh, he step forward is because of from 51 to 52 of the largest corporations in the United States hasn't paid in the last three years any single dollar taxes. And then they are among the, the most uh, um, rich, the most wealthy 500 largest corporations in the United States. So it's coming along, and uh, uh, the discussion is on already. And, uh, and probably, you know, in the, in the House, uh, Nancy Pelosi will discuss it. Bring also, you know, uh, the senior senator, Democrat, also uh, Nancy Pelosi, who is uh, the Speaker of the House, both of them Democrat, will discuss it, you know, the, 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 the raising the tax corporation from 21 to 28%. We'll see what's going to happen. Okay, uh, this is uh, everything for today. Um, this is our reference. Reporting from the Contra Fetal newspaper here in San Jose, downtown in California, United States.